Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show how to crochet this small 3-inch Christmas bell. I made this bell uh, to decorate a small wreath, but decided to post a separate video for a bell in case someone needs it. I will be crocheting using cotton thread size 10 and my hook is 1.95 millimeter. It's very desirable, although not obligatory, to uh, buy uh, a styrofoam bell shape. Mine uh, is uh, three and a half inches tall. And I cover those bells with plastic wrap. It makes it much easier to uh, take the dry bell off. Of course, you can also use something you can find um, around the house, like a churned over cup, a child's toy, uh, or you can even make the needed shape using clay or Play-Doh. We'll start with a magic loop in which we'll make 14 double crochet stitches separated by chain one. I am making a magic loop this way. Now I'll close it a little. We'll make chain three instead of the first double crochet and chain one for separation. Now a double crochet chain one, a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, chain one, and continue please making double crochets and chain one until you have 14 of them. At the end make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. To fix the needle that was used to make a magic ring, pass the needle with the, with the end of the thread on the left side of work uh, in at least two different directions. In the second round of a bell, in every other chain one space, we'll be making a shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and we'll make seven shells in total. We'll start with a slip stitch in the first chain one space, and then chain three as the first double crochet, and a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet, two double crochets. We have made the first shell. Now skip the first chain one space and in the next chain one make two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Skip chain one space in the next one, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And continue making shells all the way around, please. At the end, make a slip stitch in this third beginning chain. In the third round, we'll continue making shells. We'll be making a shell in each shell, but this time between them, there will be a chain one. We'll start this round with two slip stitches. First in the double crochet, 
and the next next one in uh, chain two space and now the first shell first chain three instead of the first double crochet a double crochet chain two and the two more double crochets one two chain one to separate the shells and the next shell in the next shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain one and continue this pattern please in round four we'll continue making usual shells but between them this time we'll be making chain two a single crochet in chain one space and chain two once again we'll start with two slip stitches one in the double crochet and one in this chain two space now the first shell chain three and the double crochet chain two and the two double crochets chain two a single crochet in chain one space chain two another shell in the shell two double crochets one two chain two two double crochets chain two a single crochet chain two and repeat this five more times in round six we are going to continue making the same shells but this time with chain two between them two slip stitches as usual the first in the double crochet the second one in chain two space then a shell that begins with chain three chain two for separating shells and uh, the next shell in the shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and repeat this all the way around in round six we'll repeat round four so we'll make shell in shell and then chain two a single crochet chain two so we are making two slip stitches a shell chain two and a single crochet in chain two space chain two a shell double crochet double crochet 
chain two, a double crochet, a double crochet, chain two, a single crochet, chain two. And continue this pattern. In round seven, we'll start widening the bell. And uh, instead of making chain two between two and two double crochets in shells, we'll be making chain three and also chain three between the shells. First, as usual, two slip stitches. Then two double crochets. Chain three. Two double crochets. Now chain three. And another shell. Two double crochets, chain three. This is a white shell, and two double crochets. Chain three, and continue working like this. In round number eight, in a chain three space between two and two double crochets, we'll be making a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. And between those groups, we'll be making chain four this time. Again, two slip stitches. One and two. And instead of the first single crochet, I made chain one and now chain three. A single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three. A single crochet, chain four now. And uh, we'll start working in this chain three space. A single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four. This is what this round eight looks like. At the end, make a slip stitch in this first beginning chain. In the last round number nine, in each chain three that we just made, we'll make uh, a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. In each chain four space, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain four, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. And then chain three space, once again, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet. Then we'll make chain one, a single crochet around chain three and chain four of the previous two rounds, and chain one. We'll start this round with a single crochet in the first chain three space, 
then chain three and another single crochet now in chain four space a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain four a single crochet chain three a single crochet and then chain three space a single crochet chain three a single crochet now chain one a single crochet around these chains chain one and once again in chain three space a single crochet chain three a single crochet in, in chain four space a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain four a single crochet chain three a single crochet and then chain three space a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain one a single crochet around and chain one now we need to stitch the bell if you are not sure how to do it I have a video on my channel and you see the link for that video on your screen now. To decorate and hang the bell, I cut off um, about 12 inches of narrow satin ribbon. I inserted both sides of the ribbon in one bead and uh, then inserted both ends of the ribbon into the bell. I used a drop of glue here to make sure the bead stays in place. Alternatively, you could just make a knot here on the inside so that the ribbon would stay in place. I also used two beads for each end of the ribbon and made small knots at the ends. This is it for today. If you liked the video, please push the like button. And if you want to be informed of all the new developments on the channel, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.